Welcome, Agent Student, to the distance learning version of Math 91, Beginning Algebra. You know, your mission, should you accept it, is to watch a series of videos on this site. After each video, you'll be required to do homework assignments at an online site called Math Excel. And then every so often, you'll be asked to take a test at the Rockville Assessment Center on the Rockville campus. Sound tough? I think you can do it. Well, is there any problems? Warning, warning, warning. Well, you should know something about uh, the history of this. You know, I gotta warn you, when you took algebra in high school, you took it every day, not like gym every other day. You took it five hours a week, approximately. When we teach this course on campus, now I know you're taking it off campus, but when we take it on campus, you're going to go at the same speed we are. We do it three days a week or three hours a week. When you took it in high school, you learned it in nine months, basically September to May, right? Well, we do it in four months. Now I'm going to do the math for you here, just to impress you a little bit. 45 twelfths, it comes to... You're going to be taught this material almost four times, that's 3.75, four times faster than you didn't learn it in high school, apparently. Or at least you didn't retain it. Now, if we look at an average sprinter, let's put this in perspective, and that sprinter runs at 15 miles an hour and was racing against something that goes 3.75 times as fast, that man or woman would be racing against a 56-mile-per-hour race car. And that's the way it's going to come at you. You better get used to it. You've been warned. But now you know the rest of the story. You can see why... 50% of the people that take any version of Math 91 fail. In fact, 50% fail all these math classes because they don't keep up. The people that take the tests do very well. It's the people that don't keep up enough to take the tests. And any test you don't take at that assessment center is a zero. Okay, another thing you need to be warned is that summer goes twice as fast as that. So if you're taking this course in the summer, uh, and taking another course as well, you, you need to drop one of them, I'm telling you. Okay, but you have been warned. Please note, the of the people that take this class and get a C, get in your mind how many you think pass the next class. Just make a guess. Well, you know what it is? Only 12% pass the next class. So you need to retain this information because you have at least two more classes after this. Now, once people jump up to a B, oh, still only still stinks. Only 58% of the people pass, but that's a huge jump. Okay, so don't dare shoot to just slip by and get a C, because you may slip by this class, but you won't make it by the next one. So I hope you appreciate that you're going to need to completely understand this material. If there's any questions you have, please ask them. Okay, even if you've got a problem right and you don't know why, okay, email, call, ask why. Okay, because it will bite you later in later classes. Remember, you really don't get any credit for this class. So if you don't get some knowledge out of it, uh, it's of no use to you. With that said, let me let you know how you're going to be graded. Well, certainly homework is going to be key to this. So to encourage you to do the homework, it's going to count as 20% of your grade. If you don't do the homework, well, I've never had anybody pass that didn't do all the homework. Okay? Then there are going to be four tests you'll be taking, actual tests at 15% each. And then we, of course, have a final exam that is cumulative. It counts for everything. And it goes over, and you like that, because that, that means it includes the easy ones at the beginning, too. Okay? Of course, all that adds up to 100%. So that's your grading. Now, 
let's talk about the tests. The tests are very much like the practice tests that will be in your homework and you will get double credit out of your homework percentage for doing these practice tests so you really want to do them. There's nothing uh, on the real test that isn't on the practice test so you definitely want the, I'll, t I'll tell you the truth they're, they're the exact same test except the numbers are different okay the ones you take at the assessment center. The real ones are taken in the assessment center at the Rockville campus and that is located yeah, that, in room 14 of the student center building okay now you need to know they close early on Fridays, okay? And they are open in the evening every other day. And they're even open on some Saturdays. Basically, not all Saturdays, you'll need to call. They're open every other Saturday and it's and it's intermittent. So you'll need to call to see if if you want to go on Saturdays, you'll need to call them and see if they're open. Don't waste a trip. You will not have to have a TID 83, but if you have one with you, or if you can get one, I'll be showing you how to use it in this uh, class because you will have to have one in the next class and I want to give you a head start. So if you have any chance at all of getting a TI-83 anything, TI-83 Plus, TI-83 Barbie model, whatever you have, it's going to have to be an 83 though, not an 82 or an 89 or an 84. Okay, You will have to have an 83 in the next class. So as I said, get one and and I'll even let you use it on the test okay it'll be a major advantage to you you're gonna have to get it eventually anyway okay if you need help at any time you have all kinds of backup in this course besides the videos certainly, certainly you can email me and that's bill.witty at montgomerycollege.edu and that's listed in the syllabus the syllabus is located on the web page okay now I ask you if you email me please sign your real name okay I get all these emails from the golden teddy bear or uh, QD625 or whatever okay please let, tell me which class you're in because I teach several DL classes and what your name is please and please I don't need any thank you emails okay you paid for me so I, I open many emails every day if I get a thank you I'm just gonna delete it so you know, don't don't waste your time sending me uh, thank you emails. Okay. And the other thing about email is consider making sure that the school has your email because, and we're not going to give it to any businesses or anything like that. The only reason we want it is to remind you of various things about the classes. Okay. So please consider giving your email to the school if you haven't already done so, because in this class you probably you have several other classes at least just in math that follow this, and so you may be here a while. Okay, so you may want to uh, let us be able to get in contact with you just in case there's an emergency. You can also call me at home. My number is 301-989-1432. Uh, I'm much better at email, though, I'll tell you right now. And I ask you to call before 830 because that's when I go to bed. And after that, my wife will answer the phone. And I don't think you want to deal with her after that. Okay, but you can call me right before 8.30 and I will talk to you for a long time. But I ask you, once 8.30 has occurred, you know, uh, just don't call after that. Okay? Now here's another resource. The web page, you must have found it already. It's easy to remember, www.montgomerycollege.edu slash algebra in this case. Now what do you have at this? Uh, well, you have the syllabus available to you. Okay? And you have the TV shows, of course, that I expect you to watch. And I expect you to watch every TV show before you do the homework. If you don't watch the shows, it's as if you skipped class. Okay, and we don't have any time for students that skip class. You also have access, uh, indirect access, to the Math Excel homework site. Okay, but you could also go to mathexcel.com. And these here, along the right side, are specific... Uh, presentations that I use in the shows that you could watch you know to, to look at for a more specific question if you want it okay in addition to emailing me of course okay so there's all kinds of nice stuff at this website hey, uh, of course you want to know how you're gonna do the homework I understand that's good well the homework's gonna be done at a website known as mathxl.com this site will give you problems, or 
for me, basically. And each homework problem will basically look something like this. Okay? The big white area here is where you'll type your answer. This will be the question, and you jump amongst the questions up here. Okay? If there's something that you can't type on a keyboard, it'll be over here. You'll use that. And the help that it provides, in addition to my help, is along the right side on these buttons. You can have it help you solve that specific problem, or you can have it show you a problem just like that problem, or you can watch a video uh, online, not one of mine, I think mine are better actually. You can jump to, if you look along here, you can jump to the textbook pages. I don't think that's that good, to tell you the truth. Or, a lot of people use this, you can use the Ask My Instructor feature as you see, that will automatically create an email that automatically types the question for you. All you'll have to do is say, hey, Mr. Witte, I don't know how to do this problem. So that's a dream come true. Okay? And after you do each problem, you'll have to submit the work, and it will go directly into my gradebook. How cool is that? Okay? So that's the kind of the idea. And you can actually, for your homework, you get as many chances as you want to do each problem. So sissy on you if you don't get a hundred. You should do every one. Now here's how you get into the homework. Basically one of two ways. You'll have to either get an access code, uh, which you can buy at any Montgom Montgomery College bookstore. And that access code will allow you to come to the uh, webpage, mathexcel.com, and actually register and, and create for yourself a login name and password for future logins. Okay, Or, if you want to, you can come directly here if you have a credit card and just buy a, a, a login name and password. Either way, you can go to the bookstore and get an access code or you can buy it online. Okay, Now when you buy it online, once you get your login name and password, it's going to ask you for uh, not your address, but it's going to ask you for your zip code and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so, so once you have your login name, I'm going to put mine in and show you. I'll be a typical student. Okay, and I'll put in my password. I'm not going to tell you what it is. And I'll log in. Now here's what's going to happen the first time you log in. is It's going to welcome you, and you're going to have some jobs to do here. I'll click Enter Math Excel. The first thing you'll have to do of the two major things you have to do is you'll have to enroll in the course. Okay? Well, there's a button here to enroll in a new course, so I'll click on that. And assuming you have this password and, and your login name already, it knows your uh, zip code, consider. So you'll click on Enroll in My Instructor's Course, and it'll give you a list of schools in your zip code. Now you'll choose Montgomery College and you'll choose your instructor. I'm down here close to last, Bill Witte. And then you'll need to choose the course because, I, as I said, I do several online classes. So you'll choose the beginning algebra, okay, Math 91. And then you'll come over to the right and click Enroll. And you'll be in, that'll put you in my gradebook. And anytime you submit homework, it'll automatically, how cool is that? It'll go in my gradebook. The other thing that you'll have to do before you can uh, do homework on any PC is that you'll have to run the installation wizard. Now, I've already run it on my computer, so and it's pretty easy to, to go through. It is a wizard, but I expect you, if, if you want to uh, do work at uh, homework at your work computer, you'll have to run the installation wizard there. And if you want to uh, do homework at your home computer, you'll have to run the installation there, installation wizard there as well. Okay, but once you've done that, uh, it'll come back and you'll have access. And as you can see, it'll say, Welcome to Math Excel. It'll tell you what class you're in. The place to get to the homework is right here homework and tests. Now, the reason it says homework and tests is because the practice tests are part of the homework, they even count more. Okay, people that aren't good at taking tests, you'll want to take those practice tests. Okay, and we'll work our way through these assignments. Okay, note that there's various assignments after you watch each video. And as you see, there's practice test one, etc. And after you take a practice test, hopefully you'll know that it's time to go take 
the real test at the assessment center. Got the idea? Okay. Well, it's your job then to get busy. What's all this jabberwopping when there's work to be done? Good luck. <laughs>